honestly say I probably have the, the coolest childhood ever. Like, I feel like I'm getting an award for having the coolest childhood ever. Um, I was introduced to adventure really early in life. Um, as a baby, I don't recall this, but I've seen pictures of it, so I know that it's true. My dad actually welded a baby seat to his dune buggy so he could take me to the sand dunes with him. So, um, and so it began from that point on. Um, I was raised on a dirt lane here close to where we're at right now, and actually out in Willard, um, next to grandparents, uncles, aunts, and cousins that were actually more like siblings to me. Um, I was the tomboy of the family. My parents had no sons, so I quickly filled that void, um, with, um, and motorcycles became an inseparable bond for me and my dad. Um, I had my first motorcycle when I was four, and I honestly can remember riding it before I can ever remember riding any bicycle, for sure. I grew up watching my dad ride and would tag along at every opportunity I got, whether it was enduros that he was riding in, weekends camping um, and riding at Chadwick, or even every, or every Saturday morning trip to see Mel and Carol Gear at Action Cycle. That was a must, it happened every weekend. Um, it wasn't long after I began racing, uh, riding that I started racing. Um, I started on the Suzuki JR50, um, and when I began to race more competitively on the NMA circuit, my dad traded those, that bike for two new Itala jets, uh, one stock and one modified, and then eventually on to Kawasaki's. I, I've always considered myself to be a bit of a green girl, but my boys are KTM riders, so I, I, love, I love orange now, so. Um, I have many childhood cherished memories of traveling to nearby states, racing with family and friends, and um, weekends spent at Possum Hollow. Um, Mel and Carol, Doug and Carmel Gear were very special to me. Um, Jerry and Janice and Brian Sharp. Uh, Lester and Brad Bennett. Dave and Jeannie and Deneen and John Brown. And of course, our lifelong friends, the Stagners. Mel was always by my side, um, and they've, he and Carol have truly been like second parents and grandparents to me in so many ways. Um, he loved me enough to let me work at Action Cycle all through high school, which was awesome. Um, he had the connections and, and helped even secure a sponsorship for me through High Point Racing, which was a tremendous blessing for our family. Um, I qualified for nationals uh, at Ponca City and finished in the top 20 that year. It was certainly a highlight for me, um, but probably one of the most memorable memories I have um, during racing was um, getting to race at the Ozark Empire Fairgrounds in the week-long series that they had. Um, that was always what we looked to, what we looked forward to in the summer. Um, there was always a great rivalry between myself and Chad McCoy, um, and although I placed second in that series, um, probably. What highlighted it for me was the very last race of the series, though. I passed him on the, the last corner. If you remember, it went down to the bottom, so you didn't see him until we came up and hit the, the straightaway. Anyway, I passed him on the bottom corner and uh, ended up winning the very last race of the series. And so that was probably more important to me going out on top than actually getting the first place trophy anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> So my dad was certainly my biggest fan. He always made certain that Miss Wynn was on the back of my jerseys, even painted it on my trailer, and made sure that everyone knew that I was a girl. Honestly, I don't ever remember thinking that it was weird that I was the only girl. I just saw competition. I didn't see other boys. Times have certainly changed from those days when I was the only girl, and I love that more women are riding. Um, my son does single track racing, and. A lot of weekends we can be found uh, racing the Moore series and things, and I just love that I see families. I see kids. I see moms. It's the whole family rides. It's not just the moms going to help support the guys that are riding. I just love that so much. Um, riding for women has become much more popular, and um, racing competitions include the women's classes, and I just think that's so awesome. <clears throat> Motocross will always certainly be a very important part of my life. There's no disputing the impacts that it's had on me for sure. Uh, and years later, I, it's awesome to see the ripple effect it's had on my family. We enjoy riding and camping weekends with our close friends at Chadwick. Um, we treasure our Saturdays spent watching our son ride. Um, and Lord willing, maybe we'll get to watch our sweet grandson back there mm -hmm. ride at some, at some point too. 
Writing and competing has taught me a lot, and there have been many lessons learned. One of those I'll never forget was being escorted back to our house by a policeman <laughs> when he caught me riding on the forbidden blacktop at the end of our dirt lane. Um, I learned a lot about hard work, determination, winning, losing, and I don't know if there was a picture of it or not, across the front of my helmet on my visor, my dad had painted, go for it. That was on my trailer too, that was his motto. <clears throat> it was plastered everywhere. Um, I have thought a lot about that motto since those days and it's always a sense of encouragement me to keep striving. That's what has taught me most of all, to always keep giving life your all, regardless of what it throws you, no matter how big or small the stage that the Lord has given you. So I just felt led to share one of my favorite verses in scripture is um, Ephesians 3.20. It says, now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than we can ask or think, according to his power that is at work within us. There's no question that the Lord's hand of providence and goodness has been felt on my life, and truly, I thank him for all he's blessed me with. So I'd like to dedicate this award to my dad for his love of the sport, and most of all, his love for me and for his family. <clears throat> We lost him suddenly four years ago, and I've missed him every day since, and I know this would have been a very proud day for him. So thank you again for this great honor. Thanks to everyone who played even the smallest part in shaping and investing in my life. It's certainly more than I could ever think, ask, or imagine. But I'm just blessed to have been given the opportunity to impact the motorcycle community in our little corner of the world. I was just a girl doing what I loved. Who knew? Thank you.